So as we have been seeing, determining if a matrix is diagonalizable can be a little time consuming. However, there is one special case where diagonalization is automatic. Woohoo! And this is demonstrated with the following theorem. So this theorem says that if matrix A is an n by n matrix with n distinct eigenvalues, then matrix A is diagonalizable. So let's go ahead and verify that this holds true. Let's let A be an n by n matrix. And let's also suppose that matrix A has n distinct eigenvalues. So let's let vector v sub 1 through vector v sub n be eigenvectors corresponding to the n distinct eigenvalues of matrix A. Now, by a previous theorem, since eigenvectors corresponding to distinct eigenvalues are linearly independent, then vector v sub 1 through vector v sub n are linearly independent eigenvectors. So therefore, since matrix A is an n by n matrix with n linearly independent eigenvectors, then matrix A is diagonalizable, which completes our proof. So this is a powerful statement and will certainly provide us with a nice shortcut in these specific situations, as will be demonstrated with the following example. Determine if matrix A is diagonalizable. Now, looking at this beautiful three by three matrix, we realize, hey, matrix A is a triangular matrix. So since matrix A is a triangular matrix, we can automatically conclude that the eigenvalues of matrix A are the entries along the main diagonal. So therefore we can say that lambda sub one is equal to one, that lambda sub two is equal to four, and that lambda sub three is equal to six. So these are the eigenvalues of matrix A. And we can further conclude that since matrix A is a three by three matrix with three distinct eigenvalues, as we have demonstrated above, we can conclude that matrix A is diagonalizable. And this is our beautiful final answer.